Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about a problem that we got from American Mathematics Competition or AMC from 2021. In this problem, we have a number n. This number has 313 digits and all the digits are 7. We are interested in the rth root of n. Additionally, f of r is defined as the leading digit in the rth root of n. Remember, the leading digit is the digit that we have on the left hand side of n. With the definition of f of r, we want to evaluate sigma f of x for x is equal to 2 to 6. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, make sure that you pause the video to think about this problem. To solve the problem, let's start with a new notation. Remember, f of r is defined as the leading digit for the rth root of n. Now, we just define b of x as the leading digit of x. So, for example, when we have n as represented here, then b of n is going to be 7. Now I'm going to show a little bit more about what we are going to do. We have n. n is a big number. It has 313 digits. If we divide n by 10 or 100 or 1000, you are going to see that the leading digit of n over 10, n over 1000 or n over 100 is going to be the same. In general, if we divide n by 10 to the power of k, and when we are careful about the value that we pick for k, then the leading digit of n over 10 to the power of k is going to be the same leading digit that we have in n. There is another piece that I would like to show. Originally, we were interested in f of r for r between 2 and 6. Now, with the new notation, we are going to calculate b of x for x equal to square t root of n, third root of n, fourth root of n, fifth root of n, and finally sixth root of n. With that, let's start to talk about the solution. First of all, since n is large, we can divide n by 100 or 1000 or in general 10 to the power of k if we are careful about the value that we pick for k. We are interested in second square t root, third square t root and so on and so forth. We know that square t root of n over 100 is equal to square t root of n over 10. We also know that the leading digit of SQRT of n over 100 is going to be equal to the leading digit that we have for SQRT root of n. We can use the same approach and say that the leading digit of the third root of n over 1000 is going to be equal to the leading digit of the third root of n. And in general, we can apply the same approach for 10 to the power of k. Now let's extend the approach. First of all, for a value like x, we know that the leading digit of square t root of x is going to be equal to the leading digit that we have for square t root of x over 100. If x is large enough, instead of using 100, we can use 10 to the power of 4. Or 10 to the power of 8. At the end, the leading digit for a large x is going to be the same. If 10 to the power of 8 is a small enough compared to x. Now we need to find what's the maximum value that we can have to divide x by that number. For sqrt root of 2, it's simple. Since 313 mod 2 is 1, so we can say that f of 2 or the leading digit that we have 
for SQRT root of n is going to be equal to the leading digit that we have for SQRT root of n over 10 to the power of 312 which is basically 7 point a fraction and SQRT root of 7 point a fraction is going to be 2 point a fraction and the leading digit is going to be 2 now let's talk about f of 3 f of 3 is the leading digit that we have for the third root of n since 313 mod 3 is equal to 1 we can say that the leading digit that we have for the third cube of n is equal to the leading digit that we have for the third cube of n over 10 to the power of 312 again which is 1 now let's talk about f of 4 f of 4 is the leading digit that we have for the fourth root of n 313 mod 4 is 1 so the leading digit is going to be equal to the fourth root of n over 10 to the power of 312 which is 1 for 5 it's a little bit different 313 mod 5 is 3 so the leading digit that we have in the fifth root of n is going to be equal to the leading digit that we have in the fifth root of n over 10 to the power of 310 which is basically 3 for 6 we can say that 313 mod 6 is 1 so the leading digit is going to be 1 again at the end we can say that sigma of f of x for x is equal to 2 to 6 is 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 3 plus 1 or 8 and that's our final answer thanks for watching the video if you would like to see more puzzle and mass involved activities please subscribe to the channel this is the SQRT channel